Hello folks. Hey, you ever see people install cotter pins? There are different ways that people install them. Is there a right way? Is there a wrong way? Is there any way that's right or wrong? Check out this cotter pin installed on a Craftsman lawnmower. It just goes through the hole and just makes a turn. And that's it. You think that's the right way? I'll show you the other ways that I have seen them installed. Let's remove that one and we'll install another one and I'll show you what that one looks like. I'm sure you've seen them installed this way with only one being bent and the other one being straight. Or sometimes you can just cut the one that's straight. Or I'm sure you've seen the ones where they'll bend the other side. Like that. So it looks like, you know, somebody doing a split. Okay. You've seen it that way, right? Okay. I'm going to show you another way that you see cotter pins installed. I'm sure you've seen this style up and over. And the other one is straight. Or I've seen where they knock the straight one down. After they cut it, they bend this down. Let me do that for you. This one here, like I said, flipped up and over, and the other one is bent down. See it? That's another way people put cotter pins in. Let's show you one of the last ones. And the final one you see, it's almost like the first one but they swing it all the way around. Okay? Like I said, if there's a right way, is there's a wrong way? Probably not. But this way, as long as two of them goes through and two of them bend the other way out so that that does not slide out, I guess, any which way. I guess whichever is easier for the person doing it. All right. That was something that uh, was interesting with cotter pins. All right. That's it. Ciao.